Hello, this is Jim, this is Jim on Nerdery Channel, and I'm on the map called Arid Misa, and I'm going to show you my Dreadnought class airships. Um, I've made some several versions of them. I've realized that th this project is probably never going to be finished because I never stop improving them. But I've decided to uh, show you three finished versions, or so close to finished as they can be. And I think I will come up with new versions, and if they are very cool, of course I will show them too, but I can here announce that the Dreadnought class airship is here. This is the first version of the airship, and it's the Dreadnought Battler. And this is a frontline battling airship that can take out heavy and light targets. So what this have is three 200 millimeters mortars on each side and a very large turret. The turret consists of four 150 5 mm howitzers and they're all connected to a rotary gun gate. And I also have a ranger that tells, or a laser pointer that tells when something is in scope. As uh, this artillery barge are a bit too heavy to use a ship for. And <clears throat> well, the ID for this flying is that it uses magnetic force uh, of earth to levitate and that's how this large thing can fly and it also needs a very large engine and ironically enough um, it still uses coal because it's a very cheap material to fly on and you need much material for this thing to fly and we're going to look inside the interiors of this ship so here we have engine parts we have extra tubing to select the most important electronical parts and we have a very rigid steel construction and very heavy armor and here we have the engine parts and up here we have extra tubing and the rest of the engine and the feeding mechanism of the coal so we started the furnaces and we can now go and as you might suspect we use uh, steam power for this one steam turbines with coal furnaces so let's start the engines we shall load all the guns and we shall also get inside this turret it's a very maneuverable turret and we shall load all the guns in turn and now the indicators said that the mortars are loaded So, we can fire some artillery around there. And I have uh, different ammunitions for all of these to make the most damage. The first cannon is armor-piercing high-explosive, the second is heat, the other is armor-piercing high-explosive, and, and the last one is high-explosive. So, 
we will zoom out to the external cameras to we can see it from the outside and we should fire again for your pleasure like that and now we will fire right south in the mortars very heavy and now we fire left side mortars we can make it from the inside view so we can see by the indicators so that's this battle version and we are going to spawn a imaginary foe to show off the cannons with okay we have spawned gold good old stormlord 5 which is the predecessor of this dreadnought class airship a very old one but anyways now we can see by the indicators that we have something in the scope so we shall fire <laughs> The Hovitzers could easily take it down, and the mortars are even more powerful, even though you have to go into close battle and fire them. We just fire them again for your pleasure. Fire. As the Stormlord 5 isn't heavily armored, it uh, is very easily destroyed by our powerful Hovitzers. So that's the first version of my Dreadnought class airship. And this, my friends, is the second version of the airship. So this has lighter weapons. It has a better aiming system, though. And works more in a support manner. So this is called artillery support and it's uh, the second version in the Dreadnought class series. So this has a bit more light armor than the predecessor because now it has uh, it doesn't have these uh, deflector screens um, you couldn't see them but they was there so the arteries uh, so the armor is a bit lighter and it also has uh, it carries less ammunition for the mortars though it's uh, different ammo types of the mortars now so they now more useful against ships and Well, the thought of this airship is that it uh, should work more supportive to support other ships and if it is needed you can land on this plate with smaller airships and it's also quite easy to put on a landing plate to make this to a carrier. The architects, top engineers and builders of this awesome ship would like you to like this video just so you know. And we're going to turn off the engines and show off the weapon systems. So for this I've used the tank ship from Spider, and uh, I have different ammo types to these officers and uh, well I can see I can see the nice, nice shaft. And if you 
wonder why I've just shot these randomly is because uh, I've wired the fire mechanism to previous and next weapon so I, I, it's basically scroll up and down I used to fire two of the cannons and well this works in the way that I made one gun as you usually make with the spider's ship just connect them up easily and then I took a advanced ball socket and placed the uh, slaver settings with uh, free movement on that gun so the other two follows it uh, and it's uh, also ball socket center so that's why it works so good and you see this is a it doesn't have a roof, it's a cabbed version uh, and that's just because uh, you want everything to be visible but if it's bad weather you can of course strap on some roof like a, like a cab and this armor is very strong metal, it's quite heavy it's uh, 100 armor, uh, not very much docility, but very high armor. So it isn't this easy cabbed version to uh, get this nice visibility when you fire the guns. So we're going to the shots that we're in and we're going to load high explosive rounds. Nice for that so that's it. Well, and if you if you like what uh, these engineers and builders have done, you should absolutely like this video and subscribe if you like these contents. We're going to take a look of the interior. So we're going to disconnect the HUD and hover down to the engine bay. So this is the engine and here I have ammo boxes and a nice thing with this version is that these ammo boxes are a bit more protected and they are far away from the rest of the ship. Uh, a problem with the other version is that some shots could uh, go very wrong and explode the ship since uh, or, or enemy shots I mean of course uh, so the whole ship would explode quite easily um, so if that happens now uh, the whole ship won't get destroyed because this, these 200 meter hovitzers are very powerful and uh, well I don't have this extra armored tubing for the electronics um, but this is not as heavy as the other ship. For demonstration purposes we have spawned some imaginary foes and it's an old version of the Stormlord 5 and also a tank from Spider's tank pack. So we will now show the power of these guns for you. We're going to get in a bit closer range. It's a very slow airship, but uh, this one is a little bit faster than the better version, but it's uh, also much lighter. The armor is extremely heavy on this one anyways, as the weight doesn't matter very much on these type of magneto levitating airships. So I think we are ready to go into attack mode for the mortars. 
So we will align ourselves in position and we fire gun one. Gun two. Oh, we need to sink ourselves down a bit. Okay, we're firing the guns again. One. And that blew the whole thing apart. Well, now we continue the turning. We are going to lower ourselves down a bit to get in the maximum good position. Of course, we can fire from almost any direction with these nice officers, but uh, it's easier if you see very good. Okay, and we are going down for a bit more to attack the tank. And this should be absolutely sufficient. So we will go and connect ourselves to the HUD, sit in this nice seat, and load the guns. Now, something is a bit wrong with the HUD. Okay, now we sit in this nice seat. Everything is connected as it should. And we are moving a bit closer. Um, we're going to firing our Pearson High Explosive on the tank. Um, and it's a very good tank. It's a tank from Spider's Tank Pack, it's quite realistic. And we're going to change that and I fire all these ones. Um, we seem to blow something up quite heavily with the armor piece, how explosive. Anyways, I think we have a good hit. Um, well, let's see when the smoke is away. If there is anything left to call a tank. I think not. I don't know why that is. There. Um, I must say, I think we got a really critical hit. But um, as that is a very good tank, um, and these Hobbitser are 105 millimeters, um, it's maybe not so strange. This is very heavy even though it's lighter than the other version. So, well, that's this version of the ship, and we're now we're going to look at the last version. And that's a slight variation of this ship. So, now we're vis visiting the last version of this Dreadnought-class airship, and this is a slight variation of the artillery support version. And the difference with this thing is that it's rebuilt a bit, in the same way as you rebuild them for carrying aircrafts. This is rebuilt as a trader or freighter. And in these wasted lands, you need to have a secure support for your goods. And, uh, well, this is one of the nuked area wastelands, and uh, this is the excellent place for and Magneto airship to be used as a trade freighter to transport goods for commercial trade and military use. So the weapon systems are the same and it's basically the same all the way. Um, the difference is it has another paint and it has this large plate for putting your freighting goods on and this one freights food materials train parts to cars mechanical parts well you know very many things and a little house which you can stand in so maybe you can live here very nice little 
place to be in. Well, anyways, this trade freighter, it's just a slight variation. Um, it's a repurposed, repurposed support battleship, or more correctly, a dreadnought. A dreadnought support artillery version that has been repurposed for trading purposes. And, well, it is basically the same, but with a very useful use. So, well, that's everything for this time from Gmodism Gmod Nerdery channel, and I hope you have enjoyed this content. And if you like to help these builders, engineers, and uh, architects, and everything who have built this awesome airship, you should absolutely like the video and subscribe. And well, if you got any ideas, please comment, and I will be seeing you in not a long time. And we will hope that this trading party goes as it should with no attacks. Well, thank you for watching. Gmodism out.